Hi everybody, it's First Friday with First Steps and that means it's story time and you are my story time family. Together, together, we are family. Together, together, brother, sister, me. Because you are my family, I put you in my heart. Now that we're together, let our story start. Are you ready, you guys? Today, we're going to talk about opposites. Do you know what opposites means? Opposite is as different as different can be. As different as different can be. And parents, we're going to talk about connections. We're going to be modeling connections with the story time today. Connections means relating the story to your child's personal life. When they can get a connection with the story, then your child will be more interested in the story because they'll have something in common with the story. So today, opposites and connections. And our first story, oh, I've got to get in costume. Oh, let's see if you can guess what our first story is going to be about. Close your eyes. You know what that is? Ah, can you guess? It's a type of bird. Ah, and it goes quack, quack, quack. You're right, it's a duck. It's a duck. And our first story is called, What's Up Duck? A Book of Opposites. And it's by Fad Hills. Hmm. I see some ducks on this cover. These ducks don't look alike. I wonder if these ducks are opposites. This duck is looking up. This duck is looking down. That is different. Remember, an opposite is as different as different can be. What's up, duck? That's it. Hmm. I see four ducks that are different as different can be. This is the front of the ducks. Oh, now they've turned around and we see the back of the ducks. Front and back are opposites. Oh, this duck is so loud! Quack, quack! He's loud! Oh. This duck is whispering in his voice, in his ear, with a silent voice, quiet voice, quiet. Loud and quiet are opposites. Happy! Oh, but this duck, his head is down, his eyes are down, his, his shoulders are slumped. He's sad. Happy and sad are opposites. <gasps> Ooh, this duck is near. But way over there, that duck is far. Near and far are opposites. <sighs> this duck is walking. He is slow. Zoom! Oh, that duck is running. He is fast. Slow and fast are opposites. Oh, this duck is nice and clean. Hmm, that duck looked like he just got out of the mud puddle. He is dirty. Clean and dirty are opposites. He's lifting his friend the duck. Oh, he's heavy. Hmm, but that feather that's on his beak is light. Heavy and light are opposites. Look at the butterfly. It's up on his. 
his head. But this butterfly is down on the ground. Up and down are opposites. Has a butterfly ever landed on your head? Yeah. <gasps> this duck is wide awake. And these ducks, they are asleep. Awake and asleep are opposites. I bet you found some things, some opposites that you knew about in this story, didn't you? And I've got a song about some opposites. It's about two little birdies. And if you know this song, you can sing along with me. I'm going to use my fingers as little birdies. Is that all right with you? Two little birdies sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little birdies sitting on a clown, one named up and the other named down. Fly away up, fly away down, come back up, come back down. Two little birdies sitting on a cloud, one named song and the other named loud. Fly away Two little birdies sitting in a row. One named fast and the other named slow. Fly away fast. Ooh, he went fast. Fly away slow. Okay. Fly away. Go on. Okay. Come back. You got back here before I could see it. Fast boy, you're fast. Come back slow. Oh, you are so slow. Two little birdies sitting on a pad. One named Happy. One named Happy. <laughs> and the other name is Sad. Fly away, Happy. Woohoo! Fly away, Sad. Sitting on a gate, one named early and the other name is late. Fly away early, fly away late. Fly away late. Hurry up, you're going to be late. Hurry up, late, you're going to be late. Yes, go. Come back early. Ooh, you're here on time early, good. Come back late. Come back late. Oh, late, where are you? There you are. Late, you're always late. But you are a good little birdie. Bye-bye, birdies. Did you like that story about opposites? I bet you can make some opposites on yourself, too. You know some opposites say, what's as different as different can be? The opposite of day would be, that's right, night. How about the opposite of girl would be, boy. The opposite of in would be, out, correct. How about over? If it's not over, maybe it's under, good. How about bright, the lights are bright. The opposite of bright could be dim. Uh-oh, I got a hard one for you. Enormous and miniature. You mean you don't know what miniature means? Well, if we're talking about opposites, I bet you know what enormous means. If enormous means large and we're talking about opposites, I bet you know what miniature means. <gasps> Miniature means small. That's right. Good job. Good job. Well, our last story 
is called the new small person. Now, opposites are as different as different can be. And in this story, there is someone that's different as different can be. The story is entitled The New Small Person. And if it's the opposite, it's probably got the old big person, maybe. So maybe we have a small person and an older person. Let's find out. The author is Miss Lauren Child. She also drew the pictures. And let's see about this new small person. Hmm. Elmore Green started off life as an only child, as many children do. He had a room all to himself, and everything in it was his, and he was very proud of his room. Look, he can reach the doorknob. He is tall. He watched all of his favorite cartoons on his own little TV set. No one ever changed the channel, and he could line up all of his precious things on the floor, and no one moved them one inch. Wow, he's got lots of toys. Do you have some toys like that? I bet some of you probably have a truck or a teddy bear. Hmm, I wonder what that is. You know what that is? They look like jelly beans, maybe? Do you like jelly beans? Hmm, I like jelly beans. Oh, they are. When his uncle Cecil gave him a jar of jelly beans, Elmore could eat every single bean all by himself in whatever order he liked. There was no need to worry about anyone eating the orange ones because Elmore Green's parents did not eat jelly beans. Look at how he's got them all lined up, all the colors. And his favorite color is orange. That's one of my favorite color jelly beans. What's your favorite color jelly bean? Hmm, do you like red? Or do you like the black licorice? Hmm. Elmore Green's parents thought he was simply the funniest, cleverest, most adorable person they had ever seen. And Elmore Green liked that because it was nice to be the funniest, cleverest, most adorable person someone had ever seen. But then one day, everything changed. Oh my goodness. Does your parents ever throw you in the air and play with you that way? Yeah, that's fun that you can pretend that you're flying, but now something is going to change. I wonder what changed. Somebody else came along. Oh, oh. Who is that somebody else? Is it a baby? Oh, is that baby a big kid like Elmore Green? Or is it a small kid? That new person was small and didn't do much, but still people picked it up and smiled at it and gave it things to chew. They all seemed to like it, maybe a little bit more than they liked Elmore Green. Uh-oh, it looks like all of the people are paying attention to the baby and not to Elmore. Oh no. The new small person didn't like watching Elmore Green's favorite TV cartoons and would squawk until the channel was changed. Do you know what squawk means? Squawk means to cry, make a loud noise. And a squawk is not usually a happy sound. Elmore did not find shows for small people at his stimulation. But everyone said that the small person couldn't help it because it was only small. Uh-oh. He's small and Elmore's big. And, oh, well. 
Elmore is not too happy with this new small person. Sometimes the little, the small person will come into Elmore's room and knock things over and sit on things that didn't want to be sat on. Once it actually lit Elmore's jelly bean collection, including the orange ones. As everyone knows, jelly beans that have been lit are not nearly as nice. Now, if a jelly bean's been lit, don't you eat it. But everyone said Elmore could not be angry because the small person was only small. Uh -oh. the small person, small, and he just doesn't know any better. Elmore Green wished the small person would go back to wherever it came from. But Elmo's parents explained that this was not possible. Uh-oh, the baby can't go back where it came from. I guess he's here to stay. The small person got bigger and things got worse. One day, Elmore found the small person wearing his fourth most favorite outfit without asking. That's mine, said Elmore. It is not for small people. I want to be the same as you, said the small person. But Elmore Green did not want to be the same as someone small. Uh-uh. He's just not happy with the small person. The small person followed Elmore everywhere. It wanted to sit next to him. It wanted to copy everything that Elmore did. It wanted to be everywhere that Elmore was. Do you have a little brother or sister that likes to copy you and follow you everywhere you go? Then you know how Elmore feels. Where are you going, Elmore? Asked the little small person. Nowhere, said Elmore. Can I come? Said the small person. When the small person said things like this, Elmore Green would go and sit up in a tree. He did not want someone small following him around. Uh -oh. Look, he's got all of his things up in the tree. He doesn't even want the small person to get into it. One awful day, the small person moved its bed into Elmore Green's room. <gasps> oh no. Now Elmore couldn't get away from it. It was always there looking at him. Sometimes it would stretch out its arms and say, Huggy? But Elmore didn't want to cuddle up to someone small. However, one night, everything changed. Uh-oh, I wonder what changed. Ooh, it's dark in here, isn't it? It's nighttime. Elmore Green had a bad dream. It was very upsetting. A scary thing was chasing him and waving its grabbers and gnashing its teeth. Elmore screamed, ah! And the small person bravely got out of bed and clung on to him. Go away, scary, shouted the small person. It was nice to have someone there in the dark when the scaries were around. Wasn't that nice of the small person? He scared away the scaries for his big brother and gave him a cuddle and a nice hug. That feels good. A few days later, Elmore Green was lining up all of his precious things so that they reached from his bedroom door all the way down the stairs. It was a very long line of things. The small person was amazed. Ooh, it said. I could make them reach to the front door if I had more things, said Elmore. I have more things, said the small person. I have at least 
five or three things. You can have them. It felt good to have someone there who understood why a long line of things was so special. The next evening, Elmore was watching and laughing at the TV. The small person looked at Elmore and then at the TV, and then he laughed too. It was very funny. More funny somehow with two people laughing than just one. Elmore opened his jar of jelly beans. You can have a jelly bean if you like, Albert. His brother Albert smiled. Elmore smiled back. Whichever color you like, said Elmore. Except the orange. <laughs> the end. Did you like this story? At first, Elmore did not like the small child. However, he found out later on they had things in common and then they got to share things. They like each other. It's his little brother and he loves his little brother. Yes, opposites are as opposite as things can be. But you know, I found out that even if we are as different as different can be, we all have something in common. And if we think about our similarities, if we think about how we are alike, what, we're having, what we have in common, then we'll find that we can be friends and we can get along. I'm glad you're my friend. We have the love of books in common, don't we? Yes, we do have lots in common. Well, that's it for this time. Goodbye, neighbor. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, family. Until we meet again. Until next time, I wish you well.